Hey guys, it's Alon. So, I recently updated the 1.12 Fringelands mod to, uh, to add an optional toggle for the Comblands and Skygrid. Now, if I turn around, you will see that I am at the beginning of the corner Fringelands here. The first degrading actually occurs around 40.1 septillion blocks and both axes, or around 4.2 billion light years in both, in both directions. So now if we head off in this direction, you will see the terrain gradually dissipate into more and more of these pillar-like structures. I just print and fly. Like you'll see that, 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 that this layer underwater well, is also dissipating into these pillar-like structures. And, and the original layer at the beginning of the video has already dissipated into a, into a grid. And most of the terrain actually opens out pretty much at around 44 septillion blocks on both axes. That's around 4.6 or 4.7 billion light years. So there is still one flat layer up there. And in fact, in the, the corner fringe ends in 1.12 actually take longer to open out than the corner fringe ends in beta 1.7.3, simply because the increased world height allows for more layers. But you can see that the terrain, which means that there's a larger chance of a layer generating thin enough that it's that its noise values will take significantly longer to overflow. But as you, can, you guys can see, but as you guys can see, most of the terrain has become a sky grid by this point. So we are now about quick position. We're now we're at now is equivalent to about 50 septillion blocks out on a regular world on the the axis and 50 and 50. Three septillion on the x-axis, because the because no, the x and z noise multipliers in this world are both set to thirty sextillion, three point zero e twenty two. Now you will see that this layer, that, that this top layer, is even is now beginning to dissipate as well. And the exact coordinates where layers dissipate actually varies by seed. But if we go up to the top here, you will see a lot of these pillar-like structures. And if you hear sounds in the background, that's actually our flock of parakeets. Sorry about that. But yeah, you will see that the, la that the layers actually take longer to dissipate closer to these diagonal lines. Because when the, when the layers get thinner, that actually means the noise values are, are relatively smaller. And, and this will take longer to overflow. So, here's what, so yeah, here's what a sky grid will look like with 256 height. And there is a village in the, to generate in, in the corner fringe lands. So we are now over 60 septillion blocks out on both axes. Which is about... Which is well over 6, bil which is well over six billion light years. About... Which is in the range of some of the most distant galaxies in the universe, or close, or at least close in magnitude to that. So, except for this layer, the train by this point has completely dissipated into a sky grid, which will eventually thin out as we move further. The farthest I've seen any material generate was like 300 septillion blocks out on both axes. So now let's actually head back this way. You will see this is actually a desert biome that generated in the sky grid. And, and to optimize the world with large noise scales, I basically I made all, replaced all sand with sandstone if the noise multipliers are above a certain threshold. So now let's head back this way. And you will see two layers a bit closer in. You'll see a bit, we're now around, equivalent to around 50, around 55 septillion blocks on the z-axis and 54 septillion blocks on the x-axis. And there's two, we can see that there are two layers of these pillar-like structures. So yeah, this would make for a pretty cool challenge map. But now let's hop off of this world 
and, and, and into our Z fringe, into a world of the Z fringe lands. So, so on this map, I had set the Z noise multiplier to 1.0 E42, and and both of the others to one. So here's what the Z fringe lands at 15 quindecillion blocks will look like with 256 world height and the comb lands enabled. Pretty cool. Get a view from up at the top. Wow. Pretty awesome. So what I did was I was I went in chunk generator overworld and made a little change to the function that generates the that places the blocks based on the noise values and made it and 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 put that code into an if statement where the setting is on it will it will it will generate the comb lands. So without the setting, of course, it will generate like in the first video on this mod without the comb lands. All right. So now let's hop off of this world and head on to our to a super flat world of a flower forest biome. So the way simplex noise breaks down is actually pretty interesting. Instead of a single coordinate where the noise over where the noise overflows, like with Perlin noise, there is actually there is actually a, a, a sort of diamond shape. The, co the coordinate actually varies depending on the depending on the other coordinate. So, well, it does have a fixed coordinate where it overflows on one axis, like in the case of flower forest noise. That's fifty nine point five one one billion, or approximately two to the thirty five times the square root of three, which is actually one over the square root of three where I originally expected it would overflow. So if we head over here, you'll see where the that there is actually a diagonal line where it overflows. So in the so in the quadrants where both signs are the same, hmm, simplex noise will actually overflow when the coordinates add up to a certain value, which creates this diagonal line, which you can kind of make out. The behavior in the in the quadrants of signs opposed is much different. And, and there is actually a spike going out to square root, of, going out to square root of three times the distance where it overflows on one axis, which in the case of flower forest noise is actually 103 billion to million years of 2004. I'll put us this head back where we were because that's where actually where I was when I first loaded up this world. And that's actually where I originally expected that it would overflow, that this would, that this would overflow. So, so once again, flower forests only generate red tulips beyond this point. And in general, simple, which is analogous to the old beta versions, only generating forests after a few trillion blocks. Or to be specific, 4.761 trillion on one axis. Because indeed, this is the same way that the pre-beta 1.8 biome breakdown. The so general rule seems to be that Perlin noise is used for terrain, while simplex noise is used for decoration. So in the, in the latest update in mod, I also should have fixed, I also tried to fix the world gen mineable issue. So you guys should probably try teleporting to 100 million on both axes in a default world. The game shouldn't crash anymore when you do that. So, that and the and the update and the download for the updated mod is in the description down below. So yeah, guys, that's about all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and be, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell and click on all for all notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.